The other big story we're following this afternoon, East Bay Congresswoman Barbara Lee making it official. She officially launched her bid to replace retiring Senator Dianne Feinstein. Lee has deep roots in the East Bay. She attended Mills College in Oakland, received her master's from UC Berkeley. She made her announcement in a nearly three minute long video on Twitter. I don't quit. I don't give up. Come on. That's not in my DNA. Because when you stand on the side of justice, you don't quit if they don't give you a seat at the table. You bring a folding chair for everyone, and they're here to stay. Our very own Katie Nielsen spoke with a longtime Oakland community leader who knows Lee very well. She also got some perspective from a Bay Area political scientist. Katie. Barbara Lee has been a fixture in the Oakland community ever since she took office about 25 years ago. Those who've worked closely with her say they're excited about the possibility of having someone with roots in this community to have a major voice in Washington. Barbara Lee, there she is right there. Bishop Bob Jackson has been the lead pastor at Acts Full Gospel Church in Oakland since 1984. She sends me a Christmas card every year and has worked closely with Representative Barbara Lee since she first took office in 1998. She's brought money into Oakland for a number of things that we've been able to do. Wouldn't have been able to do it without her support. Bishop Bob says he the and Lee founded the African American Chamber Armstrong. of Commerce Each together 19 really years ago and says because she was born and raised in the community, she has a different perspective than most politicians on the issues minority it's communities are facing. Give God praise. And he says Lord, while the church cannot endorse a specific you, candidate, he feels Lee's voice is one that needs to be heard in the Senate. I just think it would be great for somebody of her caliber, expertise, her experiences, the, the longevity that she's had in politics as a black woman. I mean, she's been through it all. In the history of the United States, there have only been 11 black senators, and of those, only two were women. What Barbara Lee's candidacy represents so far is historic. David McEwen is a political science professor at Sonoma State University hey, and I says Lee is well established in California's political circles been... and was shortlisted to fill Kamala Harris's empty Senate seat when she became vice president. And even Governor Newsom has noted that the replacement Diane Feinstein should be a woman of color. Barbara Lee fits that. McEwen says Lee's biggest challenge will be fundraising. California's Senate race next year has the potential to set records, spending records. It has the potential to be the most expensive U.S. Senate race ever. And that's going to challenge someone like Barbara Lee to raise a lot of money and keep up with the other candidates because it's very expensive to run statewide in California. Of those who have announced their candidacy to fill Dianne Feinstein's Senate seat, Adam Schiff has reported he has $20 million in his campaign war chest. Katie Porter has reported $7.7 .7 million and Barbara Barbara Lee has $55,000 on hand, according to her last filing in late November. All right, thanks, Katie. Schiff and Porter, both Southern California Democrats, also had a head start in that campaigning. They threw their hats in the ring before Feinstein even announced her retirement.